Hello and welcome. In today's video, I will show you a lot of enhancement in advanced bank reconciliation process. These features are very powerful, I would say. Uh, you know, Microsoft has come a long way over the years. So, from 1034 and 1035, these features are available. So, let's see the features. The first features we will see the advanced bank reconciliation improvement enable filtering and provide separate grid for new transactions very very interesting second one we will see enable posting of new transaction in bank reconciliation third display vouchers in bank statement fourth reverse post date bank statement with new transactions fifth enable bank reconciliation reversal even new transaction exist in post bank statement six enable batch mode for mark as reconcile in advanced bank reconciliations so these all features are mostly improvement or we can say enhancement in existing features let's see one by one in the product demo so now let's start one by one the first feature what we will see this one advanced bank reconciliation improvement enable enable filtering and provide separate grid for new transactions let's see so now i will go to dynamics 65 First, without doing anything, I will show you one bank statement, how it looks like. So, I have created a dummy bank statement. I will import the statement first. And let's see. Where is my dummy bank statement? So this one upload okay I will just validate so without doing anything I will show you this page I will go to bank reconcile reconciliation page I will create a worksheet Okay, standard view. Okay, I will go to worksheet. So now, no features are the, the features which we are going to see. Those features are not enabled. So now let's check how it looks like as a standard without those features. So now you see, this is the overall, you know, view of the current uh, bank reconciliation page. Now what I will do, I will go to maybe, I will duplicate this window and I will enable the first feature. This one is not enabled, I will enable now. I will just refresh the page and we will see the new user interface uh, enhancement in the bank reconciliation. So now you see previously this open filters and clear filters were not there. So this is the new enhancement where user can filter with the booking date form, booking date to, to see the transaction or filter the transaction. So here you see my credit balance is 110 okay and the booking date is 39 if i change the booking date maybe from today's date i can apply and you see there is the transaction is no more so if i clear the filter i can see the transactions back similarly i can do multiple filters or user can do multiple filters from here booking date booking date form booking date 2 debit amount form debit 2 credit amount form credit 2 so everything I can filter in this page only to see the transactions. So this is one of the good, you know, enhancement Microsoft has introduced in Deno 34 or 5 version. Apart from that, this feature also gives us a possibility to see the new transaction in separate window. Previously, these new transactions were coming along with these bank statement transactions, match transactions. But now, for the new transactions only, 
you can see those transaction here so i will show you say suppose this transaction which i have imported i can click on mark as new and you see in the match transaction those new transaction is not coming so for the new transactions only there is a separate window now okay so this is all about this particular feature announcement where you can see the description when this feature is enabled in inverse bank reconciliation filtering will be available for you to select bank statement lines and bank transactions meanwhile a new grid will be available to display bank statement lines marked as new so this is a nice enhancement then one feature i was going to share this is all about and then go to the next one enable posting new transactions bank reconciliation so now without enabling this i can show you that in the bank statement you no know, worksheet there is no option where i can post these new transactions rather i need to go to the bank statement and post it then it will be posted so now if i enable this feature i will enable it if i refresh the page if i go to worksheet if i come here now you see there is a change change is i can post these transactions directly from this page i will click post uh, probably it will give me the error because my fiscal period is on hold okay there is another good functionality they have given where i can update the accounting date when which date i want to post so i will change the accounting date to today's date or any date i want to post and from here only i can click on line details where i can click on financial dimensions okay i will select all the financial dimensions from here okay and then i will click okay and i will click post so now you see directly from bank statement only if it is new i will mark as new and i will i can post it from here so this is a nice change or small change i can see in 1035 version let's move to the new feature display vouchers in bank statement so without enabling this feature i will show you a good thing is that you see this voucher option in the bank statement reconciliation itself why it is given because i have just posted a new transaction and i need to check whether this transaction is posted correctly or not so i can i can click on voucher so this is what this has been posted as a debit and credit however this voucher if i need to check it from maybe from bank statement itself let's go to bank statement this one is our bank statement so here i have i cannot see the vouch voucher details from here so for that microsoft has given this you know new feature called display vouchers in bank statement so i will enable this quickly enable now if i refresh the page Okay. and now you see the voucher option is available in bank statement itself so i can click on voucher i can see those vouchers and the same voucher is available in the bank bank as well so this is this you know new feature is all about let's move to the next feature next feature is very very you know interesting and this was one of the drawback i would say reverse posted bank statement with new transactions so what is this all about so this feature is like once reconciliation is done and the transaction is posted with new transaction new mark transactions when the tra the bank statement itself is posted 
okay this has been posted and I think currently this feature is enabled let's see uh, okay yeah this feature is enabled I will disable this feature and I will quickly refresh then you will be able to understand what is this feature is so now I will click on this and see this has been posted but this reverse statement option is disabled that means once the statement is posted I cannot reverse the statement so if I enable this feature and if I refresh the page okay and then if I select this one okay I can see this reverse statement option is enabled I can click on this I can select original accounting date which date I will reverse it or today's date okay I will click on reverse okay I think this has been aborted the reason is the uh, subledger journal has not been transferred maybe I will transfer this one and then I will try to reverse it yeah this has been reversed see this has posted till has been unmarked so this is all about this feature is is very useful because previously it, it was a drawback that when once it is having a new transaction from the bank statement we cannot reverse the bank statement now it is possible by enabling this feature and the question you will have that once a transaction is posted that means a real debit credit transaction is posted in the bank but once it is reversed does it reverse transaction itself the answer is yes the transaction is also deleted from the bank so that is a good feature let's go to the next one next one is enable bank reconciliation reversal even new transaction exists in posted bank statement this is all this is a very similar one the, the above one is for bank statement reversal the, the this one is a bank reconciliation statement reversal once the new transaction is posted so uh, let's see go to the cash and bank management go to bank reconciliation see if I uh, okay I think uh, that this bank statement is not reconciled so I will first reconcile this one line details financial dimensions it is already there update accounting date today's date i will click on post okay this has been posted and now we will click on mark as reconciled okay so now i want to reverse this reconciliation for some reason Okay, if I click on reverse reconciliation, and the reverse reconciliation is completed. So that is what the feature is all about. If you take a look, it is enable bank reconciliation reversal even new transaction existing posted bank statement. So that is what if the you know reconciliation is done with the new transactions and posted bank statement so this also can be reversed with this new feature enable batch mode for mark as reconciled in advanced bank reconciliation so this is also a very small one but might be useful so here as you can see after you know uh, reversing again a new bank statement assume so once a matching is done I can make it mark as reconciled however the new feature will show you if I go to all yeah 
enable batch mode for mark so if you see the description in advanced bank reconciliation all once all matchings are done user clicks mark as reconciled to complete the reconciliation if data volume is large it will take long time for system to complete the reconciliation online which sometime results in session timeout if this feature is switched on batch processing option will be available for the mark as reconciled it's a very small one uh, but very useful as mentioned in the feature details so if I go to cash and bank management, banks reconciliation and you will see this new option called mark as reconciliation reconciled in batch. So if I click on it, yes, see marking as reconciliation batch job has been scheduled for the reconciliation this. So this is all about this new feature and that's it for this uh, you know presentation where we have seen multiple enhancement in the bank reconciliation advanced bank reconciliation area okay i hope you have been able to understand and if you will be able to you know test it and you will be able to solve real real time business from problems with these new features so thanks for watching i hope you have enjoyed it stay tuned for you know another video like this thank you bye for now